the window, we did have a situation. Unfortunately, I told you last week that this is something that they've never done before. The first try did not work out. When they were putting the epoxy on to seal it, everything started to shift and moved. So when they went to take the piece out to try it again, it started to chip. So they had to take it back to the warehouse. If it really looks bad, um, we'll have to do something here and maybe put a copper pan or something that I'll be able to have some greenery there. But I'm gonna play it by ear tomorrow. And this is uh, how we're gonna have to roll. I can't stress out over something that's out of my control. And it's kind of out of control of everybody else because the house is telling us what's gonna work and what won't, and we'll see. We'll know tomorrow. But I'm gonna add a few more veggies to my salad. I'm going to sit and relax. I have been working outside most of the day. I got in more foxgloves. I've got, been working on my website and I got a new vacuum. I am so excited. I will share that later. I finally feel like a grown up with a vacuum that works, but for now I'm hungry. I'm gonna enjoy a glass of wine and just veg out. Now the kitchen window is in, the trim is done, and everything is up to me now. But I'm going to wait to show you a little kitchen tour probably till next week. Things will not be painted and done, but at least it will be cleaned. I cleaned the counter for these photos, so bear with me. I have a lot to do in this house because I have several rooms I'm working on at the same time. But I promise next week I'm going to give you a little mini house tour of several of the rooms. Holding true to my promise, I am taking you to an event that Ben and I went to. We are heading to a launch party at Lavender Fields, which is located at Pumpkin Hill Farm, and we're going to see and taste their new lavender simple syrup that will be released to the retail market very soon, and this is something that I will also be carrying to share with you. The lavender hasn't bloomed yet, but that's not going to stop me from taking a nice stroll through the fields because you know what? The greenery still has a scent of lavender. Well, I was just sitting here realizing my dress was really tight. I couldn't fix it. It was outside the door and Ben had to pull over and let me release myself. Yeah. Well, we are back home. It's before nightfall, luckily, and Ben just went inside to get Willow, put her collar on, her coat, I hope her coat, and also I already put my boots on, but I'm still in my dress because like I said, we wanted to get out there before it gets too dark and the bugs are not that bad. The bird I'm listening to right now, I absolutely love it. But I've gotta go close the top for the strawberries because we do have said bear in the neighborhood. And here are a couple photos of the bear from my neighbor. Hey Diana, thanks for the photo. And yeah, we um, are keeping our eye out for him. You gotta show off your boots, babe.
She's looking for Frederick. She's looking for Frederick. It's further up. It's up there. Now Frederick this is what I call fine living. A simple pleasure, walking in the woods in a flowing dress while wearing rubber boots. It seems just right. I'm not sure why I can't explain it, but I absolutely love doing it. Perhaps I'm channeling one of my ancestors who always wore dresses while doing normal daily activities. There are many times I prefer to wear dresses while doing housework, working in the gardens, and doing chores. I don't know, it's just a little bit of romanticizing my daily life and living a life of fine living. Once again, no matter how simple or grand that may be. I know, go figure. I've been working out in the garden and one thing I have decided these poppies do need to get moved because out of the whole garden of purples, whites, pinks, and blues that I've been doing, it's a little bit jarring for me. So I am going to find a new home for those. But I wanted you to see all these happy little bees. Is there such thing as baby bees? Because if there are, these are baby bees. I don't know. Look at how many. They're so sweet. They're very much enjoying this. They could care less, I'm right here. I've been spending part of my morning braiding the daffodil leaves. Now, I've been reading that really we shouldn't be rolling them up or braiding them because they're not getting as much sun as they need to. And I'm also reading that we really shouldn't cut these back until after July 4th because they're gaining nutrients from the sun. But I did braid mine because I'm going to be putting bark mulch down and I wanted to see where all of these were. So for part of this, I did braid them. And then when I do the bark mulch, I will be able to unbraid them very easily if I want to get them to be exposed to the sun. But obviously Willow has other plans for these daffodil leaves. Working here. <laughs> time to do some deadheading to encourage more flowers, and it's also time to encourage a little relaxation. When I'm deadheading, and many of you will understand this, my heart rate slows down, my breathing slows down, my racing thoughts slow down. This is a time I actually look forward to. I grab my basket, my clippers, and just make sure it's a time I'm not gonna be interrupted because this is my therapy. I'm able to think things through slowly versus feeling like I'm racing around trying to do something else at the moment. That doesn't happen while I'm deadheading and I'm not sure why, but I welcome it. It's a very blissful time for me. This bachelor button is doing so good after being replanted from underneath the lilac tree. I mean, I literally got it from under its roots. It sprung right back and it loves to be deadheaded. This scabiosa or pincushion flower loves being deadheaded. Most flowering plants do. There is an exception to the rule, but what that is, I'm not sure at the moment.
two baby birds. I'm standing inside of our library and the rain has been coming down hard. This is not sped up. This is actual time. I feel so bad for the flowers and all the nests of baby birds. The plants, I'm sure they love this, so this is a good thing. Just last week when I mentioned the bee glasses and the foxglove gloves, sold out like within hours. So I ordered more and somehow they got here within a week. I'm excited. So all of these larger boxes are a lot more bee iced tea glasses or I used to use them, I like to use them for juice. And then I have another box of the Fox Glove gloves. I've got periwinkle, moss, and the natural, which is also called Sahara. So I've got to get these loaded onto the store. But as the time you see this, uh, they're there unless they sell out again.